General Mariano Alvarez, the youngest municipality in the province of Cavite and formerly part of the municipality of Carmona. The municipality was named after General Mariano Alvarez, one of the foremost sons of the province. He was a native of the town of Noveleta and played a vital role during the Spanish Revolution. It was previously called Carmona Resettlement Project and was under the direct management of the People's Home Site and Housing Corporation, or PHHC. The project was started in March 1968 in view of the need to clear the Gazon Memorial Park, Diliman, Quezon City, of shanties and other illegal constructions built on it. The PHHC prepared the basic development concepts with the National Planning Commission and the Department of Health, which comprised the planning group. The said group prescribed a minimum size of 12 by 12 or a total of 144 square meters for every family to be relocated in the area. From 1970 to 1972, more families arrived in the area, including the flood and fire victims from the different parts of Quezon City, Makati, and Manila. By the week of January 1973, the 7,840 allocated lots were already filled up. San Jose and San Gabriel, both formerly barangays of Hormona, were converted into resettlement areas. These localities have been provided by the government with different infrastructure projects such as school buildings, health centers, roads, and bridges. The government through the PHHC allotted spaces for commercial and industrial centers as well as civic and government centers. The first Kabiti Electric Cooperative or FCEC provided electricity while water work system was installed through the funding which came from the United States Agency for International Development or USAID. Due to the popular clamor of the residents of the aforementioned resettlement areas towards the conversion of their locality into an independent municipality, the 10 barangay councils of the communities of the then San Gabriel and San Jose submitted resolution expressing their desire to the Sangguniang Bayan of Carmona, which in turn favorably endorsed the idea through resolution number 56, series of 1978. The municipality of General Mariano Alvarez came into existence upon the ratification by the majority votes cast in the plebiscite conducted at Carmona and its duly constituted barangays within a period of 180 days after the approval of Patas Pambansa 76 and Parliamentary Bill No. 631, after which the President of the Philippines appointed the first set of local officials of the said municipality. Upon the effectivity, this act converting barangays, San Jose and San Gabriel into the municipality of General Mariano Alvarez. Its proportional share in the obligations of funds, assets, and other properties of Carmona was transferred to the newly created municipality upon the recommendation of the Commission of Audit, which was approved on June 30, 1980. The inauguration and oath-taking ceremonies of the newly appointed officials of the municipality of General Mariano Alvarez took place on March 14, 1981 at the Carmona Relocation Center High School that also signaled it was granted political autonomy. Several elected members of the Sangguni Ambayan of Carmona who were residents of the area were likewise appointed to head the newly created municipality. They were Honorable Leoniso G. Verata, Municipal Mayor, Honorable Perfecta Calix, Municipal Vice Mayor, Honorable Paterno J. Garalza, SB Member, Honorable Thomas E. Abweg, SB Member, Honorable Nicarte S. Swanson, SB Member, Honorable Virgilio T. Ancero, SB Member, Honorable Pablo B. Garachico, SB Member, Honorable Manuel B. Lara, SB Member, Honorable Eduardo Olitin, ABC President, and Honorable Maria Antonieta Osorigao, Kabataang Barangay President. 
The municipality now comprises the resettlement areas of Barangays, San Jose, San Gabriel, and a portion of Kabilang Baybay. Barangay San Jose consists of areas A and B, while Barangay San Gabriel consists of areas C, D, E, F, H, I, J, and K. On June 22, 1985, the local officials through legislative and administrative authorities created the 27 duly constituted barangays out of the former 10 barangays comprising the resettlement areas. At present, the municipality has its seat of government located at Barangay Poblacion Uno as allocated, identified and donated by the National Housing Authority. As envisioned by the national government, General Mariano Alvarez, a formal relocation area for the squatters of the Metropolitan Manila will provide its residents with a more blissful life geared towards the full development and upliftment of the relocation area itself.